Hello and welcome back to Android Tutorial Part 9. In the ninth part of this tutorial, I am going to explain how to pass data to an activity using the intent object. In the previous example, you already see that how to invoke an activity for result using an intent object. But here, we are invoking an activity but instead of that, we are already we are also passing some data using the intent object to the target activity so here also I am using the same example that I am already used in the previous tutorial so if you don't watch the previous tutorial let's just go to that and uh, coming back to this tutorial okay in the previous tutorial we are already created two activity The first activity contain a symbol button. The first activity contain a symbol button. When the user click the button, it will go to the second activity. And in the second activity, there is a button also an edit text option is present here. And the user enters some output input here and the submit the button, then the output of then the value enter this in this edit text will appear on the first activity as a toast so in this part I am going to demonstrate I am going to pass some data along with the intent object from the first activity so here we just start the activity using the start activity for result now I am going to attach some data to this intent object. For that we use a class called uh, the bundle class. So we have to create an object for the bundle class here. So here I am going to create an object of bundle class bundle x class. x class is an object of the bundle class. Now I am going to attach some data to the indent object before starting the activity so in order to attach the data we have to attach the data first we have to attach the data to the bundle object so here I am going to attach some data to the bundle object here the object is x class First of all, I have to initialize the bundle object is equal to new bundle. Now I'm going to attach some data to the bundle object x dot dot put string by using the method put string. First of all, you have to specify a key value for the data here I am using hint key here I using a key called hint key and here is the value the value is enter text here okay now I attach some data to the bundle object using the method called the put string also we using a key for attaching the data the, the use of key is to identify the data on the target activity if you passing multiple data to the target activity then we have to identify the data using this key object so now I am now we are attaching data to the bundle object now we have to attach this bundle object to the intent object before sending or before calling the target activity so now I am going to attach data to the bundle object so I dot put s class here is the bundle object here bundle bundle is s class now I successfully attach the bundle object to the indent object after that we just call the indent after that we just call the 
a target activity using start activity for result or start activity by using that indent object. Now we have to catch the bundle object on the target activity. So in order to do that, I am going to the second Java file. Here there is a button is present here. So here also we have to create a bundle object. So here I am going to get the bundle object from the indent object. So here also I am create an object of bundle bundle b bundle x class. Okay, x class is an object of the class bundle. Now I am going to retrieve the bundle object from the intent object. X class is equal to first of all you have to get the intent then we have to get the bundle get S class now we successfully get the bundle object here bundle x class is equal to get intent dot get s class okay now we successfully get the bundle object from the intent object now I am going to retrieve data from the bundle object so here I am going to declare a string variable string value is equal to x class dot by using the get string method also we have to specify the key key here the key is same as on the sending activity here the key is hint key hint key before I have to ensure that the key is the same here the key is hint key both the keys are same otherwise the data will not get hint key ok now we just got the hint key now I have to set the data as an hint on the text field present in the second activity so the second the text field or edit present on the second activity is txt. txt is the object corresponding to that edit text. So now I am going to set an hint. Set hint. Set hint text. Okay, here the hinges text is the value. Value is the string to which we already got the data from the bundle object. Okay, now we set the data as an hint on the edit text. So now I am going to run the project run as android application now you can see that the emulator is start up wait for the emulator to fully load it ok now you can you see that the project is successfully loaded on the AVD now I just click the this is the first activity present in that project now I click the button now you can see that the second activity is open up and 
you can see that a uh, Hindi is present on the edit text. Actually, this Hindi is actually I sending with the bundle object from the first activity. Okay, here we successfully call the second activity using start activity for result, but also we send some data with that intent object. That data is appear here as a hint in this edit text field. Here I am going to type a string welcome submit now it also works successfully that means in this project we both demonstrate invoke an activity for start activity for result also sending data to an activity using indent object so one more one more time for one more I am also al also explain it one more for sending activity or sending data to an activity you have to create a bundle object so here I just create an object of the bundle class now I just create an indent object as we taught earlier in the previous tutorial but here now I just initialize the bundle object now I am going to put some data to the bundle object using this method put string here is the key and here is the text value this is the data that I am planning to passing to the second activity now I have to attach the bundle object to the intent object in order to do that I use the put extras method now, after that I just start the activity using start activity for result or you can use just start the activity on the target activity again we create a bundle object first of all we have to get the indent object so we use the get indent method then we have to get the bundle object from the indent object that's why we using get extras method after the successful running of this statement you get the bundle object to the S class now I have to retrieve data from these those bundle object for in order to get data from the bundle object we using the get string method here we use the key that we already specified on the target activity or the sending activity now I have to set the data from the bundle object as a hint key to the edit text okay guys thank you for watching you get the full source code of this topic from my blog my blog address is given below on the description of this video also you have to subscribe my channel for further Android video updates guys thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial